Hi, I'm Lee Wind of I'm Here, I'm Queer, What the Hell Do I Read and SCBWI Teen Blog. And I'm here virtually with the amazing Harold Underdown. Harold, say hi. Thanks, Lee. I'm a children's book editor, and I'm also the author of The Complete Idiot's Guide to Publishing Children's Books. Nice prop. And the owner, thank you, and the owner of the Purple Crown website. Great. And uh, we're talking virtually because we are both going to be at the upcoming SCBWI Summer Conference. I'm going to be on Team Blog, and you're going to be on faculty doing three things. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. Tell us first about the social media session you're going to do with Emma Dryden. Right. Well, that, that's going to be a kind of informal talk, the two of us bouncing off of each other, about some of the social media topics that people are curious about. Twitter, Facebook, blogging, maybe Skype. Um, which is what we're using to record this. And it's really for people who are just getting into the idea of social media. Maybe they've started, they haven't done much, maybe they haven't gotten into it at all. So more for beginners and just a little bit past beginners. Just And we'll be answering questions as well as we go along so people can come and get their questions answered. Like a safe space to get some info from some experts. Exactly. With an assumption that there aren't any stupid questions. Right. Only the ones that aren't asked, right? Right. <laughs> okay. And then you're doing two intensives on Monday, and one's on revision, which sounds really exciting. Tell me about okay. that. Okay. Thank you. That, that one we're actually calling Editing Without an Editor, and I'm doing that together with my colleague, Eileen Robinson. We've been working together for a while now. We run the Kids Book Revisions tutorial, where the two of us work together with an author on a manuscript. And from... That experience and you know, talking to authors about their concern that they need to have a manuscript completely ready to go before they send it in to a, a publisher or an agent, we've, we've developed this workshop because we think there's a lot that you can do on your own or maybe in a critique group before you actually have to get any help if you need that extra help. And this is a three-hour workshop. We've condensed it down from a three-day workshop that we gave for the Highlights Foundation and probably will give again. And this looks at the big picture of how you can look at a manuscript, reader response, literary criticism, what are the insights we get from those two approaches. We'll also be looking at critique groups and what can work and what might not work in a critique group. And then at editing specifically, the big picture stuff, making an outline of a plot, and the little picture stuff, highlighting the adverbs in a manuscript. And from that, uh, our hope is that people will go home not just with something specific to work on in a current manuscript, but with some tools and skills that they can use again in the future. That sounds great. Really, really useful stuff. Thanks. And what's the other intensive you'll be doing? And the other intensive is uh, something that I call Submissions Basics, Publishing Basics. It's meant to cover really the beginning of the process from the manuscript, so how do you format a manuscript, how do you know what you have? Is this a picture book? Is this an easy reader? Moving on to publishers and that whole world. And I have kind of an interesting page here from the Simon & Schuster catalog, which shows their imprints. And as you can see, there are a number of them. Twelve. And, and, and you know, how do you know which one you might want to send a manuscript to if, if their door is open? And what kind of books do they publish? And so I'm going to be talking about how you can research publishers agents, do you need one, how do you get one, what will they do for you, who's out there, you know, do you, do you just have to look at the publishers in New York or are there other places you can go? And finally, we'll get to the end of the process when people are offered a, a contract and there's the acquisition process and then they get into publishing. And all through this I'll be taking questions and suggesting resources and I hope people will take a lot away with them at the end of it. It sounds great, like the whole journey from beginning to publishing and then beyond. Exactly. Exciting. So the summer conference is one of my favorite times of year, and I know you've been there before. Can you share with us what, what you feel like is the best part of the summer conference? Well, I think what the best part is is just getting to see people because there, there's people there from all over the world. It's like going to the American Library Association convention or something like that. And we're all involved in children's books. And so I see friends I haven't seen in a long time. I talk to people about books and publishing, and I make new friends. So, you know, really for me, the best part of it is, is getting to see people. 
I agree. I mean, for me, it's really that sense of tribe, that sense of like, wow, these are my people, people that are passionate yeah. about literature for children. But, and, and who understand what we're doing and why it's important. Right. And yeah, why, why we spend all this time on it. <laughs> well, wonderful. I'm really looking forward to seeing you. And thank you very much for taking the time. Okay. Thank you, Lee. Register at www.scbwi.org. See you there.